here at SecretsOfLongevity.com, and I'm making myself some king crab legs for a meal. Probably more than one meal, actually. I'm making a large amount of them. And I just picked these up at my local grocery store. They come frozen, but they usually also come pre-cooked. So you could basically just thaw them and eat them if you want, like cold crab. That was your thing. I prefer to eat it hot, so I'm going to just basically boil it for uh, about three to five minutes just to get them back up to heat. And uh, if you have them raw, I'm not exactly sure the exact specified amount of time. But they're not that uh, thick, if you think of them in terms of being a, like meat. So they really would not take long if you were boring, boiling them, or had them on a barbecue, or had them in the oven. Um, so basically we've got the water that's already started to boil here. I'm starting a dip of butter that you can hear sort of crackling in the background here. And I had just a large chunk of butter, not any specific amount. Uh, that I'm just going to heat up. I'm going to add some garlic to and some spices. And that's going to be to dip the meat in. So really, it's very simple. As you can see here, I'm just going to put this large pot of rapidly boiling water and hope they all fit in here. Pretty easy. That's something they can push them back down into. Hopefully they fit. I think they will because the joints, of course, bend on the arms of the crab. Crab is excellent for you in terms of its nutritional properties, high in protein, of course, and it's also one of the best seafoods you can eat if you're looking to avoid toxicity in the, the foods you're eating. So crabs, as well as lobster, don't tend to accumulate uh, heavy metals anywhere near to the degree that uh, things like, uh, actually most fish do. So even when compared to even smaller fish that are quite low, so it's one of the safest things to eat in large quantities if you happen to live somewhere where you can get them uh, fairly fresh. So where I live, we get the Atlantic king crab, which is a very large crab. You can probably get smaller ones on the west coast of North America, whether it's uh, BC or uh, down into the US. So we've basically got them under the water mostly. I don't mind if there's a little bit sticking above because, again, these are already cooked. I'm just put that back on. And as that's going, you can prepare your uh, dip here. So I've got one clove of garlic that I'm just squeezing off into this. Almost lost it all there. It's a very small pot on this element. <laughs> and then a little bit of thyme to give it the flavor that thyme brings. You can use any spice combination or blend. Don't want to go overkill because you just want to give it a hint of a taste of flavor. And basically turn up the heat. I've got it kind of low here. So we're just going to simmer that because it's not actually uh, so important if we're to be raw just in this small amount. You could, if you have raw butter, just to get it up to that point where it melts. Um, this unfortunately is pasture, uh, sort of pasteurized butter. But obviously the best scenario is if you have raw butter, then you can keep it raw. That just gives it a nice uh, flavor as you're dipping the crab legs into it. And if you don't have a nutcracker, such as this one, sometimes they are actually sold as crab crackers. That's just a metal thing to break open the legs, but they're very hard. You want to cut them with a scissors before you put them in the pot. So that way, once it's cooked, it's easy to open up the, um, the exoskeleton of the crab legs to get at the meat that's in, on the inside with a knife and fork. So when you have these, you can do that after it's cooked. Or if you don't have a pair of these, then do the uh, cutting with scissors beforehand because it will be too hot to be able to handle it once it's cooked if you're serving it straight off the thing there. So this is wrapping the boring. I'm going to turn that down. That's done. We just want to get stuff evenly uh, mixed in there. And also the garlic, I find garlic when it's cooked sits with me better than completely raw garlic. So just giving it that quick little simmer sort of cuts the edge of the garlic a bit. So one thing I forgot to mention is you can get grass-fed butter, although it's pasteurized, from a link below from US Wellness Meats. They also have a wide variety of pasteurized, healthy meats and animal foods and other products that you can find at that link as well. They don't have crab, but they do have shrimp, sardines, and many other great, wholesome, mineral and vitamin rich seafoods. Uh, shrimp is very similar in some of the sense of the mineral content, high in selenium, zinc, um, just because of the crustacean, similar type of um, nutrient content in its flesh. Crab 
is also a great source of selenium zinc and it's also very high in omega-3s as seafood is known to be high in and overall you're also going to be getting a lot of these factors that you get from wild foods that you don't get so much from more domesticated foods um, so that's a great reason to include crab in your diet lobster, shellfish and fish seafood if um, as long as it's not high in mercury if those are things that uh, you can get a hold of. It's very easy with that link so definitely check them out check out all their other products they do all their dairy products except for their cheeses aged older than 60 days are pasteurized just because that's what at the moment what needs to happen with all dairy products that are being shipped uh, across the US across state lines um, but yeah check that out and also let me know what you think if you've made this before if you like crab and overall your feelings about seafood. Seafood can also be a good source of vitamin K2 which is very rare in most diets and that's very important for building strong and healthy teeth strong and healthy skeleton and that's usually only found in fermented dairy and to a certain extent in some fermented uh, plant foods but not in as high quantities but it is present in a lot of seafood in varying amounts. So I'm simply going to take this little dish for the butter garlic thyme mixture small amount of that for dipping and then put that aside I'm using salad tongs because I don't have regular tongs but uh, just going to go in here and take a few of these really let the water drain off of them aren't the greatest for grabbing but you can see it just kind of comes out there that's a nice claw I'll just dish it up Great, I'm starving. I'll just probably just take this large one here too. Save the rest for lunch tomorrow as well. Because of the shape of their exoskeleton, the water does take a bit to drain off of it. So it's pretty easy. You're gonna have to eat it with your hands to a certain extent. You're gonna have a knife and fork, maybe let it cool down a bit. Use the crab crackers and then I'll show you what it looks like once you split it open. So we're just going to take this claw here, just, going to just break it with the nutcracker here, and then you can go into it with your hands, it's probably the easiest really, we've got some garlic dip, kind of pry it open with the fork. Yeah, you don't want to serve it scalding hot because it is really a food that you kind of have to eat with your hands, which is kind of fun. But and as those shells fall away, just let them hit the bottom of the bowl. You can see this delicious thick meat. You almost need a spoon, I think. But it comes out. Probably have to just break it right off here. So we're just going to dip that in the end there. Okay, so we're going to try another one. I tried opening this one, but it proved to be a bit difficult and awkward. So I'm just going to split this one down there and get at the meat from this side. I find it's easiest to sort of split it lengthwise as opposed to just trying to scoop it out. And then the meat just kind of folds out. Might be easier just to go straight ahead and cut it with the scissors ahead of time to make your dinner guests have an easier time with it. Alright, so here's some of that delicious meat that seems to be so hard to get at. I'm just going to dip a bit in the butter. Oh, it is delicious. One of my favorite foods to eat. Kind of fun. So you saw how easy that was. You just pick up a bag of the legs. It's great for dinner guests obviously make things to go along with it. I enjoy it just on its own as a full meal on its own. And yeah, leave your comments below, subscribe and like the video. And with that, take care and embrace life without limits. If you save the shells, dry them and grind them up into bits. You can also use them um, because the crabs walk backwards as a way of reversing spells.